I'm going to take the Bel Air out probably for the last time this season, this season today. I'm going to run some errands, run to the post office and do some errands. And I am figured I might as well take this because I am going out to dinner with a bunch of guys tonight with their cars. And this is the car I'm taking. And then I'm, when I get back, I'm going to fill it with gas. And it may be the last time I drive it for the season. So let's get it going here. And I think it was a frosty morning, so we're going to turn the heat on. Let it warm up a half a minute, and we'll get going, and maybe we'll do up some video for you guys. Maybe, maybe not. Digging around looking for something else, I found the FM converter. It's a realistic FM converter I used to have in this car, and the screw holes still line up where I had it mounted. I had this when I was in high school. I had it mounted under the dash. I think the, I think the screw holes are, I don't know, somewhere around in there. They're uh, right there. So that's where it was mounted. I'm kind of, kind of thinking of maybe putting it back in. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not I'm surprised I found it and I'm not getting rid of it because it's like brand new. And uh, so if I decide to put it back in, if I want FM in the car again, I got it. But anyway, yeah, you tune your station to 1400, you push that in for FM and out for AM. Let me see how it goes in and out. Yeah, thing from the past, you just don't see these anymore, do you? Here's one of my projects I've been working on around the house is a paver patio. The table and chairs were kind of sitting there, and it was just kind of cramped. And I just decided to switch things up a little bit. And I still have enough leftover pavers to where I can put pavers. I'm going to do all this and then leave an area here, the full width up to the fence for, like, vegetables. And, in the summer we had tomatillos here and some peppers and tomato plant and whatnot so that way i won't have to come in here with the tr because i can't get the lawnmower in here i have to do it all with the trimmer so eliminate the grass and here's the thing to do yeah prickly pears survive in michigan but there's the this Give you a shot of my paper patio. Here's a view in the night of the new patio and put some Halloween lights up too. Like, kind of see what they are. And also, I made these. These I made with refrigerant cans and plasma cut them out. You can say I just put a black light up in there, put it up to the top so when they're sitting there like this and you walk by them or walk up to them you don't see the bulb that way it's just all nice and fluorescent green in there so yeah there it is on the sitting on my new patio i just finished up just thought i'd add this a little bit and happy halloween to everybody if this gets up before halloween i've been doing a little monkeying around on the cb 500 here i've been using that bike so and I might uh, take it out to do some errands tomorrow. It's supposed to be in the mid-60s, so it'll be a nice day to do that. But yeah, I've been, uh, I have polished some of the chrome up on it, cleaned up some of the... It was, the chrome is the, kind of rough on this bike. Most of it's polished up and looks pretty nice. I mean, you can see the sissy bar chrome. You can see my reflection in it and... It looks pretty good, but it's rusty back in here, and I'll have to clean that up when I take it off, when I take the bike apart. And I cleaned up the turn signals, and they're kind of pitted. And I'm not going to spend the money. It would be a lot of money to have all the chromery done on this bike. More than, you know, what I want to put into it. I don't want to, you know, put $2,000 of chrome into something that, you know, I might get four or five grand for. So I'm just kind of... Cleaning, you can see a few little pits in the chrome here. And I think it'll look good, but these are available brand new. That's available brand new. 
A lot of this stuff, all these controls are available brand new. I'm going to try and take it apart and clean it. I ordered a set of eight hanger handlebars. I'll show you when they come in. In fact, they'll probably bolt them on here and see how they feel because I'll have to, if they don't have holes already bored for the wiring, I'll have to put holes in because there's holes underneath here and the wire goes through the handlebar and comes out. Eh, you probably can't see it down in there. And this boot's available, so I'll get a new boot here and I'll probably have to get a longer hydraulic line for the front brake because this will be up and over a little bit and uh, these this is pretty rough here this chrome and that's available too still new you know all of, so you can buy a kit all the signals and it's you know a hundred and some bucks the the gas cap which has some pits in it that's available the front fender I'll probably have to find a used one I did measure the headlight it's seven inches and motorcycle headlights are different from car headlights, the way their aim is. And uh, so I'm going to try and find a headlight. I took this one out and tested it on a battery, and I can't get it to illuminate. I do want to put a test light and see if the terminals, you know, from the switch, switch work. So, you know, I either take this apart and clean it or just put a new one on. I'll probably take it apart and clean it. Um, because otherwise I'd have to replace this one so they match and then you're running expenses. These are reproduced and they're about 20 bucks a piece, this whole assembly. This one's a little more money, well I don't know, but it is. Um, but anyway, yeah, so we're gonna start, oh and I cleaned the rear wheel up, which is the roughest chrome on the whole, whole bike. And I mean, you can see some areas there just kind of show you you know and you can get a wheel and change the wheel or have it re-chrome the I'll let the future owner worry about that but I think once the frame and the motor is painted up I uh, also did a little polishing over well I didn't polish I just took some steel with chrome polish while I was doing the I didn't polish this chrome but I did mostly the rear chrome back there in the wheel, rear wheel. But I also did this, and that, that I can take right off the engine and buff it. This I'm going to paint. I'm not going to go to the work of buffing it. These, this, these little end things were originally buffed. I'll buff them. These caps were originally buffed. I'll buff them. And you can buy the, all this stuff brand new too. It's amazing what's available for these bikes still, brand new, and. Uh, but I just want to kind of keep it on a low budget, so I'm going to reuse all the chrome, just clean it up. I'm going to paint the frame and the motor because I think that'll make a huge appearance difference. And in the future, if a new owner wants to change the, you know, to better chrome, you don't have to tear the whole bike apart. I mean, these come off with one screw. The wheel, you know, you can take that off. That's no big deal. So if somebody wanted to uh, redo up the chrome on it, the front wheel chrome is pretty good. I haven't really gave it a good thorough cleaning yet, but overall, it's pretty good. And these are a little rusty, so they'll get some paint. Now, all the hydraulic lines, everything's brake pads, caliper rebuild kits, calipers, master rebuild kits, masters everything's available i mean everything and i ordered these they're kind of they need to be replaced the bellows here so i ordered new ones the forks don't leak so i'm not going to reseal them i might drain them out and refill them um, the rear shocks seem to be good they're available or 55 bucks a pair i don't think i'm going to replace them again let the next owner do that but i just want to make the bike look nice and Maybe ride it a little bit and sell it. Yeah, I am going to sell it. I, I got the 72 Michigan plate I'm going to register to it. Oh, and I ordered a new taillight lens. It's cracked here and here, and it's got like a BB hole. Does that show up? Yeah, it's got a, somebody shot it with a BB gun, I think. It works. The light works. It just, you know. So anyway, I got a new rear lens. So I ordered on oh, the things to balance the carburetors the little metal ears these little metal tabs here 
this one's broken and I don't know if that that prop might cause a performance issue so we're gonna change it and the float bowls I noticed when I was watch editing the video so somebody else has had these carbs apart because this bowl and this bowl are mixed up this bowl should be over there and that bowl should be here because see the screw drain screw here it should be here so one should be here one should be there and then on the other side so I'll change those full bowls when I take the motor out I'll pop the carbs off paint the motor there should be one here and one there and that one's on that side so I'll switch these two float bowls once like I say once I have the motor out and I'll pull the carb assembly off so you know I can paint all this under in here and whatnot you know make it look pretty I'll have to take this off to get the chain off but I'm gonna paint that but I may paint it off the motor paint this so I don't end up if somebody takes it apart you don't end up with broken paint chip paint from take you know so when it's bolted back on it won't be painted together so to speak so I just kind of wanted to you know give you a little show of what's going on on the bike right now and then like I say I'll I'll tackle this bike after probably after the holidays it doesn't take long to do these bikes they're fairly simple or nothing compared to a car and uh, you can go back and watch the XL175 video and I did that I was painting in the house my dad's doing a bunch of work up in Romeo and still got that done in pretty quick order as I stated I was going to put ape hangers on the bike so I just bolted these on just to see how they look and fit and I actually really like the look with the sissy bar and everything you know there's a lot of junk in the garage here so you're not really getting a comparison and it's not on the center stand this bike being lowered here with that lowering thing there yeah it's hard to get it up on that stand it takes two people to get it up on the center one and uh, unless I roll it up onto some couple two by fours then I can do it easily but it's just on the regular kickstand right now but anyway I like the feel of the bars there I like the look of them it looks like I'm gonna have to get a longer clutch cable and a longer hydraulic line when I'm sitting on the bike the feel is really nice and I just kind of like I say before I'll, I'll fit them on the bike when I put it back together from painting it but you know I'm gonna have to take a couple a, drill a few holes here and file it oval to match the holes on this bar because all the electrical wiring goes through the, the bars and I may have to extend the wiring and uh, we'll just have to wait and see and but I definitely will have to get a little see about a little longer hydraulic hose and clutch cable and I mean they got to make them because people put these bars on these bikes all the time and uh, so and the brake hoses that kind of stuff wasn't that expensive that I see that's correct for this bike so I don't think it'll add a lot of cost these were $51 for those 12 inch rise ape hangers which I think will really make the difference in the appearance of the bike once it's together having those on there with the with all the straight pipes and the sissy bar and everything and I got a new tail light lens I don't know if I showed you or not that was broken it looked like somebody shot it with a BB gun that had a big break in the top here and I think I showed you that too so I'll get that registered to the bike and uh, the headlight has yet to come but I got new boots for there so when I take that all apart you know and put new boots on um, these are for when you synchronize the carbs so when I put it back together you may have seen one of these was broken so I picked up there's one on each set of carburetors and I think I showed in the video too that a couple this float bowl and the, the number one and four float bowls are inverted so somebody else has been into these carburetors because I put them back in exactly the way they were but I did pick up these so we can make sure all the carbs are synced I'll put these on when I uh, 
take the motor out to paint it. Oh, and I got a battery strap too. The strap was missing. I didn't want the battery bouncing around or falling out or anything, even though there's a side cover. I don't want issues. Oh, and I was also in my, I have a big box of spark plugs in the basement too. And I found two more. So I have five of those spark plugs. So I'll just put all new these spark plugs in the Bike calls for D7EA, but after doing a little research on these spark plugs, the S was the earlier version of the A. So this bike probably, that's probably what this bike came with when it was brand new, was the D7ES's, because this is a superseded number to that number there. And uh, here's the old taillight lens. You can see where the, the chunks in the lens here in a little bit. And that's obviously a BB hole. I don't know if it, but yeah, that's for sure what that is. So somebody, some kid or something, that's what the ape hangers came in. But some kid shot it with a BB gun. All right, I'm going to put the stock bars back on just because I don't want anything broken up. And we'll, at least I know those will work, which is what I wanted to see. There you can kind of see how the wires come through the handlebars. Another thing too, yeah, I've been using this bike. I've taken it on two color rides out to my brother's, fall color rides, and I'll be editing up a video, but I just thought I'd throw this. You can see I've put, if you've been paying attention to my videos, you can see I've been put almost 700 miles on this bike since I got it going. I've just thoroughly enjoyed it. It has used no oil. I checked the oil on it yesterday before I left it leaks a little out of the kickstart. The seal for the kickstarter, or not the, the shift shaft, I mean. It leaks just a tiny bit. It'll Sometimes it drips on the floor. It's not dripping on the floor right now, but maybe it's a chain lube that's spewing up in there. But, you know, I'll put new seals in it when I take the crankcase covers off because it's all coming apart for paint. But I just thought, yeah, I've been, that's why I haven't torn into that bike yet. Plus, you know, with leaves falling, I don't want leaves stuck in the paint or bugs in it. And uh, so I'm just going to wait until, you know, the weather's truly sour. Maybe around the Christmas or somewhere. If, <clears throat> I think I'm going to do this one first because this isn't uh, road legal. Yeah, I'm changing the headlight <clears throat> and this comes with a replaceable bulb. It's a halogen, I don't know, it's, this is the box the bulb came in. And you don't want to handle the glass part, that's why I opened the bottom was so I wouldn't have to touch the glass. And then it comes with this boot that you put over it. And then you can plug your, your wiring into it. So let me get this thing all hooked back up on the bike and hopefully it'll illuminate. You can see it says... I don't know if you can see that or not. It says motorcycle on it. Yeah, motorcycle headlights are not the same as car headlights. This is the, the box. Just so if you want to see what I'm putting in it. And there you can see how the bulb goes in. And I think that was it. Let's get this thing back on the old bulb, which I tested with a battery. Just says Sylvania China DOT 12 volt H6024XU01118 is the numbers on that. That bulb's dead though. It does not light with the battery or anything. And I checked the wiring on the bike. It works with a test light. So let me get this thing in and hooked up. There it is with the little rubber boot installed to protect it from moisture and whatnot. Let's install a headlight and see how it works. Let's see if it works. Hopefully it does. Key on. Low beam. High beam. Yeah, it works. Low beam off, high beam, low beam. Indicator works. All right, so we got a headlight. I have not started this since 
the last video, I take that back. My brother was over, I don't know, four or five days ago, and he wanted to see, he started it, and it started instantly. I mean, just as soon as it started cranking, it was started. It's cold and doesn't have the air box, so he had to, he restarted it a couple times, but yeah, it started right up, and the, and the button there definitely needs to be gone through. The key isn't on that, so it's not. Uh, doing anything but there we go we got a working headlight that is absolutely awesome everything works on the bike the horn works the turn signals well, absolutely everything I don't want to run the battery well I guess I could always put a maintainer on it The headlight on, tail light is on, brake light, both hydraulic and mechanical brake. All the idiot lights are work, the instrument panel lights work, everything works on it. So there we be. It's ready to get some of the things done around the house. I'm going to start ripping it apart so I can paint it up, seeing I'm not going to put it on the road until spring. I mean, there's no point in paying insurance on something that's just, you know, going to sit here for six months or five months or so, pay pay for, you know, road coverage. So I'll just wait to put the road coverage on it until maybe March, April, somewhere around in there. And then we can start riding a little bit. Well, I might end the video here so you guys can kind of see what's going on with the bike and what I've been doing around the house and stuff. And, you know, I did, as you saw, try the ape hangers on there. I'm going to have to get a longer clutch cable and a longer brake hose. And I was going to replace the brake hoses no matter what. So I'm just going to wait. To, there's a junction block right here. So this is where the bottom hose and then the top hose connects right there that's the brake light switch for the hydraulic brakes and this is the lower hose i think they're probably the original ones from 1972 so i am going to replace them and the clutch cable will have to be a little longer so probably replace the clutch cable too i think the throttle cables will have enough slack slack in them if not we'll get longer ones of them too but it's uh, definitely going to need a longer brake hose. The clutch cable, I might be able to get enough slack out of, but the brake hose I'm going to change because I'm replacing them, like I say, no matter what. But anyway, we got it. I'm going to put the, uh, I'm saving this old bad plug because when I paint the motor, I'm going to pull a good plug out and put the bad one back in, paint it, and then I'm going to pull all those plugs out and put the new ones in and the boots and the air box and, all that stuff back on once I put it together and then it'll be it'll be rideable it seems to run pretty good pretty happy it starts just at the touch of the starter so hopefully everything mid-range and you know cruising out on the roads good if we need to change some things in the carburetors we'll do what we need to and I am going to swap the two float balls if you look at a past video the Somebody's had these apart. The drain should be here and here. I think I showed this in this video. And the other ones point that way and that one's pointing this way. So that bowl and that bowl are just uh, swapped. So I'll swap them correctly. And I'll take carburetors off, paint the motor so I can, you know, I don't want to get overspray on them. They weren't originally painted. And I'll polish this up a little bit better. And... I'm going to polish. I cleaned this up a little bit on the bike, but I'm going to polish that up. This I'm just going to paint. That'll be fine. It's just too much work to, to polish that, I think. We'll see. But I think it'd look nice painted. And uh, anyway, all right, I'm going to wrap the video up here so you guys can kind of see what's going on. If you like the video, definitely hit that thumbs up icon. It helps me out in getting more views and little extra income I can put into these machines. And if you like my channel, at 348 engine icon that powers the 59 Chevy here. 
I hope you subscribe and thank you for watching my video.